Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my brunch series. In this episode, I'm showing you my classic British brunch dish. It's my kedgeri with soft duck egg. I've got some basmati rice, really fragrant, really light, has a great texture. That's gonna go into a pan. And you'll notice it's in a sieve because this has been washed really thoroughly. You wanna wash your rice like two or three times and keep washing it until the water runs clear. That's gonna get rid of any excess starch from the bag and make rice really, really fluffy and light. My tip for the perfect rice is two parts rice to three parts water. So, pour the water in, pan nice and hot, and you'll notice it's, the water is just covered. This is known as the absorption method, so you're not gonna be left with any water in the pan, you're not gonna to have to drain the rice, it's just gonna steam perfectly and be perfectly cooked. Good pinch of salt, flavour, it's gonna to help to season the rice. As soon as the rice comes to a boil, put the lid on, turn it down to the lowest temperature possible for 10 minutes, and then leave it for 10 minutes. That's it, really, really simple. Set the rice to the side on a low heat, and then start with the fish. So I've got some milk in the pan here, and some smoked haddock. I'm using undyed natural smoked haddock, not the stuff that's been painted with that horrible yellow dye, so this is a really lovely natural flavour. And all I've done is taken a sharp knife and just cut a little pocket in between the flesh and the skin, and that's gonna to help to remove the skin once it's cooked. It makes it a lot easier. So just lay that in. I only need to be barely covered. And then some black peppercorns. It's just gonna infuse the milk and give loads of flavour. And then just a bay leaf for an extra bit of flavour. For a full list of ingredients, check out the description box. Now leave that to poach slowly for about five minutes till the fish is just cooked. So what we need to do now is just melt some butter. And when the butter's foaming, add one chopped onion and one green chilli. It's just been de-seeded and finely chopped. So cook this really, really gently. We don't want to fry this hard and get loads of colour on, just nice and soft and gentle. The whole dish needs to be a really beautiful kind of soft amalgamation of this lovely chilli, the spices and the smoked fish. So just keep cooking those for about three or four minutes just until they get really lovely and soft. Just a little tip at this stage, you want to soften these onions and chilies, but with no colour. And you'll often see a lot of recipes say, sweat the onions and garlic or chilies with no colour. A really good way to ensure you do that is just to add a pinch of salt about a minute into the cooking. And what that salt will do is draw out all the natural liquid within the chilies, the garlic, the onions, whatever you're frying, and it'll kind of help to steam them in the pan so it stops them from colouring. The onions and chilli are now really lovely and soft, so I'm going to add some curry powder into this. You don't have to use a really hot curry powder, just something really nice and fragrant. It's really important that you toast off your spices, because that's going to release all of their natural flavours and all of the oils within the spices and really enhance the flavour. So a couple of cardamom pods. Just take the flat blade of a knife and squash them slightly. It's just going to help to release their flavour. And fry for another minute just to infuse that butter. That can just come off the heat for a second or we take care of the fish. Now the fish, if we just get a fish slice underneath, great way of telling it's cooked is just try and put some pressure underneath and it should just start to fall apart. See there where it's flaking, so we know that it's cooked. So, transfer to the plate and then just flip it over so we can remove the skin. Now, if you haven't got asbestos hands like me, just leave it to cool for a bit longer. I'm just gonna go straight in. So that pocket we made earlier, just makes it really easy to pull the skin away. So these duck eggs have been cooked for six minutes and then just run under cold water, which will stop them from cooking. So to give them a tap all over, just to break the shells, remember that duck egg shells are quite tough as well, so you need to kind of work fairly hard with them. And then give them a bit of a roll. That's gonna to help to break the shell quite evenly. Take your bowl of water, drop the egg in, and then peel it underwater. And what you'll find is the water gets between the membrane and the shell, makes it much easier to peel. And I can tell that that's gonna be runny inside, because if you give it a bit of a squish and it's really bouncy, you can feel that it's liquid inside. That's exactly what you're looking for. This might seem a bit of a labour intensive thing to do, but it really is worth it. And actually you could do this the day before and then just cling film them and put them in the fridge. So the rice is ready. It's just been sitting for 10 minutes steaming and it's really important that you don't lift the lid at any point because there's still steam just working its magic in there. There we are. Just take a fork and just run it through the grains to fluff it up. And if your rice is cooked perfectly, there should be no water in the bottom of the pan. So add the rice to our spicy base and just stir through so the rice gets a really lovely even coating of all those nice spices. Now at this stage, just add 
Couple more cubes of butter, and that's gonna give everything a great gloss and shine, and just enrich the flavor of the rice. So just keep stirring until all the grains of rice are coated in that lovely fragrant spice mixture. And if this recipe's got you in the mood for brunch this weekend, click the subscribe button, follow us on Twitter, or come find us on Facebook. All right, there we are. Good pinch of salt. And at this point, take it off the heat, because everything is now cooked. And we take our fish and just flake the fish straight into the rice. And this does work really well with other smoked fish as well. Some nice smoked mackerel, some smoked salmon, or even cod. So finally, just finish it with some chopped parsley. I think Kedri is one of those really lovely, comforting brunch dishes. And you can serve it to the table in one big pan and just let everybody get stuck in. In with the parsley. So just stir everything together and be quite gentle so you don't break up the fish. Right, ready to serve up. Just take a serving plate. Give a nice, generous portion. After all, we're combining lunch and breakfast here. And then take one of your duck's egg, just cut it through the middle. Got that lovely runny yolk inside. A little sprinkle of salt, and then a wedge of lemon. So there we have it, my kedgeree with a soft duck egg. Absolutely delicious, but don't just take my word for it. Come on, Yvonne. Come and have a little taste. Grab a fork. Thank you. Oh. Dig in. Got to get the verdict now. Pretty damn good. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got the seal of approval. And if you've enjoyed this recipe, I look forward to seeing you back in the kitchen again soon for another in my brunch series.